Welcome. This mini webinar is approximately 15 minutes long. It is designed to provide local PTA leaders serving the middle and high school community with ideas to virtually engage, empower, and grow membership. It contains examples from 30 local PTAs and four PTA councils around the country. 2020 was anything but normal. Hybrid learning, virtual learning, color-coded class groups, and sudden school shutdowns had a huge impact on PTAs and PTSAs. And now, even if campuses are open, many PTA leaders are not allowed in school buildings. For a lot of PTA leaders, this has been unsettling and disorienting. How are you doing? Are you struggling with your role? Confused about what to do if you cannot access the school? Wondering why anyone would join PTA right now? No matter what your emotional state, the reality is PTA is needed now more than ever. This is PTA's mission. The word school does not appear in this mission. As a matter of fact, for the first 40 years of PTA's existence, local PTAs were not associated with a school at all. Today, some PTAs serve a community that is not school-based. Because our mission does not require a school, you do not need a school building to run a PTA. The mission attracts members who want to see a better world for children and families. So how do you PTA without a building? The trick is thinking beyond the building. And in some ways, PTA serving the middle and high school community have an advantage over elementary school PTAs in this new building less environment. Why? Just think back to your elementary PTA leadership days. Things have changed, haven't they? Students in middle high school are more independent and they do not necessarily want mom or dad in their classroom or even their building. PTA and PTSA at the middle and high school levels is less about hands-on arts and crafts activities and room parties and more about organizing events like career nights, mentoring and apprenticeship programs, or college prep events. These type of events are a natural fit for the virtual world and really never needed a school building to happen. That doesn't mean it will be easy. You will just need to think differently outside the proverbial box. You will need to move programming off-site, work with community and business partners, and use the great outdoors. You may find people who are comfortable in a virtual world or more willing to help now that a school building isn't involved. You may find community partners willing to pool resources and work with you. To make it easier to get out of building mode, think about the why and forget about the where. Why does your PTA do its work? Probably to enhance and support education, connect families and students to each other and to resources, to support students as they prepare to move into higher education or careers and provide a voice for your members, maybe even have some fun. You may have used the building in the past, but you can do all of this without a building. This workshop will show you how other PTAs are doing it. For more than 120 years, PTA leaders like you have faced challenges. And PTA leaders like you rose to the occasion to ensure all children had opportunity to meet their full potential. We have our own COVID crisis now. Let's see how other PTAs are meeting the challenge. The examples to follow are grouped into categories. In category one, you will see PTAs that have found a way to give their members an active voice at the local, state, and national level without using the school building. Can any of these ideas work for your PTA? Miami Beach Senior High School PTSA in Florida and Matea Valley High School PTSA in Illinois provide value to their members by ensuring parents and students know about school reopening plans and giving their members a chance to have a voice in those plans. Neuqua Valley High School PTSA in Illinois ensured its community knew and understood the hybrid model and had input on how it worked. University High School PTSA in Florida hosted a virtual town hall with a school board member to keep parents and students informed and to allow members to have access to a decision maker so they could voice their opinions. Westfield High School PTSA in Virginia hosted a We the Teens virtual workshop to help teens become engaged in civic activity 
and prepare them to become active, informed voters. Lutz K-8 through PTA in Florida hosts regular virtual coffee and conversations so that parents can talk with the school principal. Maybury Middle School PTSA in Georgia collaborated with East Cobb Council and South Cobb Council PTAs to host a virtual town hall with school board candidates. Can any of these great ideas work for you? Here are more ideas from PTAs providing members opportunity to advocate on behalf of their children. Host a regular virtual lunch with the superintendent. Run a virtual town hall on school safety. Host a virtual panel discussion on report cards or grades. Work with the district on a survey or poll, or poll your own members to find a topic they care about and hold a meeting to take a position. Your PTSA can do this. In the second category, we will explore examples of PTA supporting and enhancing education and curriculum without using a school building. How could these examples apply to your PTA? Griffin Middle School PTSA in Georgia ran a school supply drive to ensure all students had what they needed to learn in the new school environment. Park Middle School PTSA in Minnesota collaborated with Rochester Community PTA Council to create a STEAM Team YouTube channel made for students by students to enhance science, technology, and arts education. These PTAs focused on cyber safety in this new virtual environment. Folks PTA at Williams High School PTSA both in Texas hosted cyber safety webinars. Lassiter PTSA in Georgia hosted a student technology and the law webinar. Spotswood PTA in New Jersey hosted a socially distanced walk the neighborhood event to help promote physical activity and healthy living. Mount Vernon High School PTSA in Virginia runs regular webinars on topics to help students and families stay safe and learn in the current environment. They also provide parents a virtual check-in process to ensure that students are progressing. Ponce de Leon Middle School PTSA in Florida produces videos to help their community deal with the new school environment. This one is focused on returning to school safely. West Shore Middle School PTA in Connecticut in collaboration with Milford PTA Council and Haggerty High School PTSA in Florida are helping families deal with mental health as we cope with this crazy time. Could any of these ideas work for your PTA? Here are a few more ideas for supporting and enhancing education. Host a virtual writer or artist in residency. Check local museums, aquariums, and science centers for virtual programming. Coordinate a virtual after-school program. Consider setting up mentoring classes or virtual apprenticeships to allow students to learn from adults in a specific field, or possibly create a mentoring program connecting high school students with younger students who may need help. All this is possible in our current environment. The third category contains ideas from PTAs who have found ways to strengthen connections between families and classmates and teachers and build strong, inclusive communities without using a school building. Can any of these work for your PTA? Finn Hill Middle School PTSA in Washington State builds community in their Stand Together, Stand Apart efforts. And West Islip High School PTSA in New York gathers community support for their educators. Both PTAs have found a public and visual way to do this. Bell Creek Middle School PTA in Virginia worked with community partners to host a COVID test and flu shot clinic for their community. This is a great example of a PTA collaborating with other groups to serve their community. These PTSAs had fun. Carwise Middle School PTSA in Florida held a virtual cupcake wars and Walkersville Middle School PTSA in Maryland hosted a virtual pumpkin fest. Kellogg Middle School PTSA in Washington State and Annandale High School PTSA in Virginia hosted virtual trivia nights. Summit View Academy, PTSA in Kentucky, held drive-in movie night in the school parking lot. Matea Valley High School, PTSA in Illinois, connected students and families by hosting a senior car parade. North Gwinnett Middle School, PTSA in Georgia, met its community's needs by conducting a can drive. Rogers Middle School, PTSA in California, provides an online newsletter and shares it on social media, connecting their community and keeping them informed and Prince William County SEPTA in Virginia gives its members a virtual way to hang out and share. 
Rye Neck PTSA in New York hosted a PTSA School Spirit Week in their blended learning environment. Can any of these ideas work for your PTA? Here are a few more ideas to build stronger, inclusive communities. Coordinate family meals to support families in need. Try distributing a soup or lasagna recipe and ask families to cook together and donate for your PTA to distribute. Host a community-wide family scavenger hunt, sending teams of students and families out to discover clues. Consider hosting a virtual diversity and inclusion book club for students and for families, and maybe partner with a local library to do so. Or try a virtual cultural heritage night or host a grade level meetup for teachers and parents. You can do this. Be creative, use social media, make it easy for people to join. Create a virtual membership campaign. If you do not have one, investigate online membership platforms. If you do have one, use all the tools available on the platform like newsletters and messaging. And check with your state PTA for tools and resources. People want value from their PTA membership. The examples shared in this webinar are grouped into three categories for a reason. National PTA recently surveyed our members and they let us know they value their membership most when it supports critical academic needs, when it gives members a voice on important issues, and when it builds a strong, inclusive, and welcoming community. If this is what people value, give it to them. So plan your events and message their value using these three pillars. Connect what members say they value to what your PTA does. And above all, Tell everyone this is PTSA providing value and ask people to join to show their support. Be sure to brand your events by using your PTA logo and take credit for what you do. PTA sometimes forget this. Even some of the great examples shared in this webinar are not branded. People will join when they see your PTA providing value. If you do not have a logo, like on the example shown here on the right, no problem. You can create one in about 30 seconds on the National PTA website using a tool like on the left. Middle and high schoolers need PTA to step up and help. Families need PTA to connect and engage. Schools need PTA now more than ever to create community and support education. We are all in this together. So take advantage of all the tools available to you as part of the PTA family. There is value in your PTA membership. Check out the new Lead a Virtual PTA page. This is a comprehensive compilation of all PTA's tools for leading in a virtual world. Here you will find links to more webinars like this one, including one called Beyond the Building for K through six, which has great examples that could apply to middle and high schools, and one on building a virtual membership campaign. You'll also find links to leadership training tools, the PTA blog with its great ideas about growing membership and accessing free and low cost technology, videos to share with your members and community, online national PTA program tools, and great family engagement tools and training. Book this page. We will update it as we create new tools. Use the PTA membership campaign toolkit and resources. Here you can learn about the survey mentioned earlier. Use the toolkit graphics in your promotions and communications. Many of the graphics, like the ones you've seen in this workshop, are customizable and available in Spanish. And if you downloaded the tools before October, check them again as we added new items, including PTSA graphics and Spanish tools. Join the PTA Local Leader Facebook group. Share and learn from more than 7,000 other local leaders who are ready to help. Keep the conversation going. If you have a great event tip to share, send an email or short video to membership at pta.org and tell National PTA about it. Or post your idea in the PTA Local Leaders Facebook group using the hashtag HowWePTA. We may share your ideas so others can learn from you. We are all in this together. PTA is more important now than ever. We do not know what the future holds but we are PTA strong. We are PTA adaptable. We are PTA family. Thank you for all you do for PTA and for children. Thanks for taking time to view this video. 
and please take a moment to fill out the brief survey located on this webpage. We can't wait to hear from you.